Behind any commercial flight is more than a century of political negotiation and accords that dictate who, how, and where airlines can fly. Aviation is one of the most unifying industries worldwide because it is what brings the world together. The beginning of aviation agreements came with the 1944 Chicago Convention on International Civil Aviation. This convention established the UN Oversight Agency responsible for civil aviation, the International Civil Aviation Organization. The ICAO is recognized by every country worldwide except for Liechtenstein, Dominica, and Tuvalu. Soon after its inception, the ICAO laid out five fundamental rights of aviation, known as the Five Freedoms of the Air, which serve as a framework for international aviation agreements. The first freedom of the air is the right to fly over a foreign country without landing. Pretty much every commercial flight and commercial airline is allowed to do this. Moving on, the second freedom of the air is the right for airlines to land in foreign countries for technical stops. Essentially, that means refueling. The third freedom of the air is pretty simple. It's the right to fly commercially from one's own country to another country. The fourth freedom is just the inverse of this, the right to fly commercially from another country to one's own. The fifth and final official freedom is the right for an airline to fly passengers between two foreign countries on a flight originating or terminating in their own country. But let's move on to the sixth freedom. It may seem a little strange that there's a sixth freedom in the five freedoms of aviation. There are actually nine total freedoms, but only the first five are recognized officially in the ICAO's Five Freedoms Treaty. While freedoms six through nine are widely accepted, they are not as universal, except for number six. The sixth freedom is actually unbelievably common. It's the right for an airline to transport passengers from one foreign country to another via their own country. This I'll finish off by grouping the seventh, eighth, and ninth freedoms together, as you'll see they're quite similar and often come together. The seventh freedom allows an airline to fly between two foreign nations without connecting on to its home. The eighth freedom is the right for an airline to fly between two cities in one foreign country while continuing on to its own country. And the ninth and final freedom is the right for a foreign airline to fly between two points in a foreign country without continuing on to its own country. So, those are the five, or rather, nine freedoms of aviation. Aviation is a very politically charged and complicated subject, but these freedoms do a great job of simplifying and standardizing airline regulations worldwide.